Hi all, in this video, we will see uh, the UART functionality of uh, EFM 32 GG12. Uh, so we'll just uh, use the existing code <clears throat> and see uh, whether it is working or not. So one of the beauty of these uh, uh, libraries that are supported by manufacturers is that uh, mm, we can use them as is without uh, any changes and just try out a very, very useful one for uh, students and uh, beginners. And uh, <coughs> you can uh, um, build your code on top of it. So now let us start. Click and then we'll just try to open the schematic and uh, we will see what actually uh, we are using. So this is the EFM32 chipset. If you see here, uh, there is something called VCOM. So if you see, this is the VCOM pins. So these are the pins that goes to uh, the debugger chip. We'll just go there as well. So you can see here, this is going to the debug chip. And uh, the debug chip further uh, <coughs> connects to the uh, USB, control MCU. You, you, the pins that are here, which are highlighted. So now these debug pins, um, we'll just go back to the previous one, are connected uh, through a switch uh, to the VCOM RX and TX pins. So the VCOM RX and TX pins are connected to PE6 and PE7 pins of EFM32. So the UART pins basically that means for the UART functionality over the debug port we are going to use the VCOM. <coughs> which is uh, basically the virtual com. So uh, any debug messages, any input messages can be used over this port. So now going back uh, to the Simplicity Studio. Okay, So we'll go to the example projects and demos. And here we will try to take uh, the existing uh, um, bare metal user type I was stream. So, if you remember, we had uh, low power UART and also uh, a UART uh, um, options in FM32. So this universal synchronous asynchronous receiver transmitter is a block which has several things associated with it. It had it has UART, SPI, uh, all these associated with the UART. <clears throat> so if we go to the uh, data sheet, we can we can see those. Okay, so if you can see here, this is the UART block and this is the UART block. So these are two different uh, things. Um, and uh, right now <clears throat> uh, we are using uh, the UART for this particular functionality and uh, um, so this uh, bare metal uh, programming um, is already done for the UART communication over virtual com you can see here the ATA description is also given so the basic functionality of this is that um, whenever you type something over a serial port application uh, like example putty or any other thing you can use uh, this will go back uh, the <coughs> characters uh, that means let us assume we type hello uh, on the serial port the same hello will be uh, received back by the uh, serial application and then <coughs> you can see here the weak serial port can be used either over USB um, or connecting to the port 4902 um, if the kit is connected via Ethernet. So we are not using Ethernet here, so we'll be using the debug USB port. That's where we have connected uh, um, this uh, chip. So now let us uh, start it. And uh, let's uh, click finish because we don't want to configure too much. This is a sample application that we are trying out. So 
So once uh, uh, it is in this page, you will see that uh, the files have been created. So in the main.c, functions if you see they look uh, similar, uh, okay, uh, but uh, um, if you go to SL system initialization, okay, uh, here uh, the functional, the <coughs> initializations are happening uh, with respect to what? If you go to SLC service INIT function, you see that uh, uh, the IO stream instances and configuration of VCOM is happening. If you go to IO stream instances, you uh, are user instances are <coughs> uh, function is called, and here the actual initialization of VCOM is happening. If you can see here, uh, this is where the baud rate and everything are set. The, the actual initialization of the serial port is happening. If you go to this macro you can see that it is 115200 that means um, the serial port baud rate is set to 115200 and uh, <clears throat> we are going to um, receive the data uh, at uh, that baud rate and so and then there will be a pin configuration that is done similar to how we have seen for LED. Uh, so that, that can also be seen in these functions. So, looks like the um, program is all set. We just checked what is the baud rate. That is a major thing that is required. We know VCOM is configured as per the description. And now let us try to dump the code. The code is ready and here what we'll do is we'll open putty okay putty is a uh, serial uh, we can use for serial terminal and uh, right now the comput is three here and the baud rate is 115200 and when you open this you can see uh, the serial port has happened but you do not see anything so why don't we see anything here is uh, um, if you see here uh, this program is in debug mode and it is not running uh, like so let us just try to uh, resume the operation that means resume um, the <coughs> code uh, uh, running and if you see here you can see uh, it has just output I was stream use at example this is the output on default stream and uh, Print of use as the default stream as long as I was stream retarget uh, studio is included. So let us assume we will put our uh, YouTube channel name. You, you can see here or EFM 32 GG12. You can see, so we said that this is an echo um, <coughs> um, program where once uh, you type something and uh, um, that the same thing will be a code back. If you can just go to while one for your reference and then use the process, uh, the your process, you can see here whatever the um, characters that we are receiving are just sent back. Oh, um, and then uh, you, you can see. In the printf you are uh, you are writing you wrote so if you want you can change this uh, instead of you wrote you can change and then <clears throat> you can also write your own uh, uh, code here uh, you can also process the inputs collect the characters here itself without putting to output collect the characters process like example if you say two plus three example uh, so based on the uh, the sign that is received you can do an addition operation in this function and then output so th we are just giving an example here so we can play around with different things you can also change the baud rates um, and then uh, you can also try to configure different UART rather than vcom port and try to see uh, how it is behaving uh, different things can be played out but uh, <coughs> so right now what we are doing is we are just trying to um, bring out uh, a simple um, explanation of how it can be done. Uh, you can play around by 
starting from the scratch without having all these uh, uh, struggle to write your own program and then you can learn by yourself so um, <clears throat> try it out on your own you can see here uh, the, this from this function we are uh, seeing those uh, standard outputs on the iO stream you we have seen iO stream use that example so you can change the string whatever you are uh, trying to print <clears throat> and this SL iO stream write is what uh, is writing to <clears throat> the standard output here so, um, hope uh, um, this just gave an introduction on how um, uh, the UART uh, um, default example that is there in uh, the simplicity today is working just try different configurations and try um, different uh, options of uh, outputting the data and then also collecting the data and checking the data, uh, giving the output. So all these kind of things can be done in your program.